This is 77 Lincoln. Now check this one out. This is not your normal Lincoln. And yes, these were quote-unquote produced. These were produced by the Caribou Motor Company in California. Twelve were built. Interesting. Look at the way how they cut that down and made the tailgate, yet still keeping a continental flare. You can see the hinges in the... Uh, that is all fiberglass on the inside. I like the way how they carried the vinyl through. This is a real rare treat to see one of these girls. If I'm not mistaken, I've actually shot one before for northeastwheelsevents.com. Again, it's a 77. They're asking 79 uh, trader offer. The car itself, the bodywork, especially the right side, leaves a lot to be desired. I'm not that fond of it. Built, of course, off the 77 Mark V. There's some good wrinkling in the doors and the uh, quarter. I'm not that thrilled with the right. You can see the repaint and a lot of uh, poor bodywork underneath. But again, this is such of a unique vehicle. Is it worth the uh, effort? I would say so, because it is really cool, especially if you're into the big marks. This is it. Twelve were built and sold through Lincoln dealers for a promo sale. Only three are known to exist today, according to this. All the numbers are correct except the fiberglass bed insert. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Again, 77 Lincoln Mark V, the Caribou pickup truck. 7,900. Here's a good one for you. I love it. Absolutely love it. Little Chevy ice cream truck. Now it's a mishmash because the grill, of course, is the newer grill. 55, if I'm not mistaken. I love the spray paint on this. This build is a 54, original good humor truck. Comes with new radiator and small block conversion kit, new windshield. Asking 12. Needs a little bit of work, wouldn't you agree? But these signs are just taped on to give it the expression. Now, how can any, uh, anyone object to an ice cream truck in their collection? Is that cool? That is fun. I love all this strange stuff at uh, Carlisle. And it does bring it out. Look at the way how the body was cut, by the way, just to fit everything in. And of course, driver's wide open. There's a refrigeration unit sitting right next to it on the driver. Boy, they must have been so hot. The um, windshield frame is also a custom because look at the cut over there, and then with the uh, uh, whatever those things are, uh, the little push uh, tabs for a uh, top and side curtains. Again, asking 12,000. Ice cream, ice cream. Here you go, 53 Dodge M42. Braden winch. This thing is just so over the top. These things are remarkable. M37 variant, very original, solid and complete. Runs and drives 7,500 bucks. May I open the door? Thank you. They're in the army now. Do 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 do. do, do. Look at that. I mean, that is tough. This is where they were at, folks. All canvas over there. Air conditioning. 
Look at this thing. Oh, this is tough. Really this is it. cool. They didn't, they didn't get it out here. Close it with a bit of authority. I was happy. I was happy. Oh, that is nice with the canvas back. Beautiful, beautiful. Gotta check out in the inside? Okay. I saw the benches. All the wood framing is there. Wow. The original tools. Nice. Now folks, this is a 53. This is an original five mile an hour bumper. <laughs> is that cool? Now take that to your local cruise and let's see what happens. This is wonderful. Definitely sweet. Again, 53 Dodge M42 asking 7,500. Over here at the 2020 Fall Carlisle.